ever watch pro wrestling, but I watched a really cool documentary on um, Andre the Giant. So, yeah, that was a really cool documentary. So I'm, I'm, I was a fan, I'm a fan of his. I mean, obviously he's, he's not around anymore, but you know, he's. Uh, I, I don't remember how long ago when he died, but but yeah, man. I, I, if, if it was me, if I did watch it, would be it would be, it would have been him. Triple H. You're all about the pedigree then. Yeah, <laughs> that's the only one I can remember. It's been a while. It was uh, The Rock. I don't know. I just like I liked his uh, his swagger. You know, he had a unique uh, unique style. I loved his finish and move, The Rock Bottom. The shit just came out of nowhere. <laughs> yeah, I love. It. Yeah. You know what? I, I just because I I didn't really watch it as my my dad did, and um, I would watch it with him. But The Undertaker. I was just sweet, you know what I mean? People used to ask my dad when we would go as kids, um, I don't even guess kids, but as young adults, um, well, even as kids, they would ask him, but as the older I got, when I won a couple titles, I remember being at a local bar celebrating with him, and it was just me and him having a beer, and someone asked him if he was The Undertaker. So it was awesome, so it was super funny. So yeah, I mean, that was my dad's favorite. That Scorpio guy, cause I, cause I was born in November, so he started like, you know, he's come out with the Sting, the Sting guy. Yeah, with the white mask. Because I remember that movie where he came sliding down on that thing. You know what I mean? It looked so cool with the fog and stuff like that. Yeah, I'd be having nightmares about that guy. So, nah. But The Rock, The Rock does go hard. He's like fan favorite. Yeah, I was actually a huge wrestling fan. And um, Stone Cold Steve Austin was always my favorite. And every now and then, it's hard to get into now because I don't really know a lot of the guys and I don't really know the storylines that's going on. But. Like right now, you got some old school um, wrestlers back. So I kind of flip back and forth and try to keep an eye on it. But back in the Attitude Era, it was still. Favorite pro wrestler? I, I was into, I don't know, I, I had uh, shifts with who my favorites were. I think at one point it was Kane. You know, I love Kane. It was, but before that, Undertaker. I don't know. I was, I think, um, St Steve Austin, I want to say, man. He went out there and handled business. <laughs> He was that. He was that dude. That he was like. I, I actually, it's funny at the Khabib, you know, the aftermath. I was expecting Steve Austin to just come out. The Steve Austin song, let his cart, you know, hop in the cage and start uh, stunning everybody with all the craziness and the man that was going in the cage. But yeah, he was a favorite of mine actually. Oh man, that's hard. Uh, I've always been a huge Stone Cold fan, so I'm probably going to have to say my favorite wrestler was Stone Cold Steve Austin. I actually remember uh, I was, the the month after my fight with Richie, I stayed with BC at his house, and uh, I just I happened to walk in on him doing uh, the podcast with Stone Cold, and I was like, I was ecstatic for him, you know what I mean? It was crazy. With that original flow, head kicks with the pros, picks up the fights or anything in the mix. Okay. Closer to the heart of the flame, bringing conversations with heavy hitting names, you feel the love of the game.